Hello everyone, RiceTime911 here, and today in this tutorial video, we're going to learn about how to add ad strip to your mod. So I hope you're ready to learn that, because here we go. So for starters, what exactly is the purpose of ad strip? Well, basically, the purpose of ad strip is to be able to add an image or a brand or logo or basically whatever you want to add to the side of your vehicle, just basically an image. You're pasting an image on the side of your vehicle. But basically the limitations of ad strip is usually it can only go on flat surfaces. So like like this. So it really only works best with flat surfaces. But with this ad strip pack, there are a few ones that are adjusted to curved surfaces, but it works really best with flat surfaces. But anyways, now I'm going to show you how to edit the ad strip and get in your mod so that you can add your brand or whatever you want to side of your vehicle. So let's get on to that. In the description, there's going to be a link to where you can download an ad strip pack. But if you don't want to download it below in the description, you can also go into Google and type in FS17 ad strip. And there will be a place where you can download it there. I'm just making it available for you in the description because that way you don't have to go through ads and stuff. But anyway, either way, once you get the ad strip pack, you can go ahead and cut it and paste it into your vehicle. Just right in here. And what you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have your vehicle, your mod, unzipped in a folder where you can work on it. And then once you've done that, you paste the ad strip in there just like this. So what you see here, that's what you do. Okay, so now we got our ad strip in our mod. So now what do we do? The next step really comes down to personal preference because this is where we edit the texture of our ad strip. So basically you got to go into Google and find the logo of some trucking company or Basically, whatever you want to put on the side of your vehicle, I'm just choosing a trucking company logo because this is, well, let's face it, it's a GMC, so it should have a trucking company logo. So I've chosen Bison Transport, so I'm going to put their logo on the side of my GMC. But basically, whatever you want to put on the side of your vehicle, you go to Google and you find an image for it, and you can put it on the side of your vehicle. And what you're going to want to have, actually, is have the background of the image transparent like so because when you're editing it it makes the back of the ad strip transparent so that it blends in nicer. I'll show you what I mean. The reason is that if we just keep a white background on our ad strip then we have this and when we try and put that on the vehicle it just doesn't really work as nice. It just sort of leaves a white background which just looks sort of weird. But if that's something you're going after then you can leave that if that's what you want. So in the add strip folder open up this diffuse or whatever that says. I don't even know but it doesn't matter really at the moment. Okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and paste in your logo. And you're going to want to keep canvas size. I'm just doing this in paint.net because it can add DDS files. Okay, so now we're going to want to somewhat center our logo. You don't really have to center it too well because actually what happens is that you can resize that strip in the editor and position it that way. Okay, so now we can delete the background. You see what I did there is I created a new layer so that I could center it. And now what we're going to do is delete the background, then merge this down. And now we have our logo, our logo, all set up as a texture for our ad strip. So now we save it, press OK, and there we go. Now we got our ad strip all textured with the logo we want to add. Okay, so now we're all set. Now it's on to the Giants editor file. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my Giants editor file, my i3D. 
And there we go. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go File, Import, and find your ad strip file. So here it is for me. So we just go ahead and import that, press open, and there we go. Now I'm just going to change the camera so I don't mess up the outdoor one. And as you can see, I've already got one set up here on the side. But what I can actually do, this pack here, it comes with three separate ad strip models. It comes with one that's basically straight and flat. And it comes with one that's curved a little bit like this. So if you have a surface that's sort of that shape, you can apply this one. And this one, it's curved a little more. And at the bottom. So whatever your surface, you can sort of choose your ad strip according to that. But since I have a flat, sur flat surface, I'm going to use the flat ad strip. And what I'm actually going to do is delete that because that's from before. But now we're going to line it up. Okay, so actually you can see this is way too big. So we're going to size it down a bit to about 0.5-ish or somewhere there. Actually, 0.5 is still a bit big. So you can just sort of scale it according to how big you want it. I don't want it too, too big, so I'm just going to scale it like that. Then put the rotate to 90 so it's nice and even with the vehicle, flat. And then just sort of line it up where you want it on your vehicle. And you can have it sort of pulled away from the surface of the vehicle just a tiny bit. It doesn't really matter, you won't really notice. Just so long as the texture fits on there nicely. And actually on the real Bison transport trucks, the logo is up here in the corner. So that's where I'm going to put mine. Alright, so we got the logo right up there where we want it. Now, we sort of need one on the other side, don't we? So we can actually just go control D and I'll duplicate it and then we just rotate it around and go negative 90 and then just change the translate to X to negative 1.223 and basically what that does is just move it to the same place on the other side and there we go now we've got bison transport rode out on both sides of the truck so there we go now we just as one final step, I want to make sure that our ad strips, and I'll just control click to select those, control X, paste them within our vehicle's transform group. And just to keep things organized, I'm keeping these in, a, in another group called extras. Okay, so just so long as it's in the vehicle, that's all that matters. So basically, that's all you have to do to add, add an ad strip. Now if I wanted another ad strip with a different texture, all I'd have to do is go control C, control V, then we have a copy, we rename it to 2, ad strip 2, and we go in and change the texture, the diffuse texture, to some other image. And then we got another texture that we can use on our vehicle. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. But anyways, yeah, that's just the basics of adding ad strip, how to work it, what it does, all that. So if this tutorial did help you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and check out my other useful tutorial videos, or hopefully they're useful anyway. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next. Bye!